So I get in there and I'm looking around and it's got a nitrous, ox, uh, nitrous oxide bottle behind the seats. I said, oh my God, I don't know about this. And sure enough, we had to test it out. And uh, so he picked me up in that one day. One day he picked me up in a uh, Lamborghini at the hotel and we went out there. So we'd be riding down the road and here's some guy pulled up beside us in a Ferrari and he wants to race it. I'm like, oh man, I don't know about this, you know. We don't do this in North Carolina. <laughs> so <laughs> they race for, you know, 100 yards, I guess. But it was quite an experience. But yeah, and, uh, out there, and, uh, it was funny. Uh, I had some feed delivered to my place in Texas here last year. And this guy comes in, and he got this big feed truck, and he unloads the feed. He gets out, and he says, man, I got to ask you one thing. He said, was that Daisy Duke as good looking in person as she was on TV? <laughs> I just met this guy, you know. I didn't even, I didn't even know he knew who I was, you know. But uh, he oh, remembered she? one thing. He remembered that Daisy Do that episode. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, one more question. Then we got to get these guys in their autograph session. Hundreds of RVs out here. Have you got your eye on one? Well, we saw a hundred of them, or, and I think I got my eye on every one of them. It was amazing. I'm like, we only get to see half of it coming through here and it's like, hey look at that. Oh look at that. No, look at that. Oh I got man, this is gonna be this is gonna be a great day. I've been to a lot of shows before and I don't think I've ever been to one that was as impressive as this. Yes, yeah, really know. an impressive. It's an right. impressive show. I'm glad my wife's not with me. <laughs> well we appreciate you guys appreciate you guys, Bobby. Well, thank you very much and uh, I just want to say thank y'all for for being uh, being a part of this race track. Uh, so, I know the first time, uh, and Terry mentioned it too, is, is a little bit, and I'll, I'll have to say this, the first time we came out here, the first, I know Terry, did you race Ontario? Yeah, yeah I did, but we raced Ontario, yeah. and I was a crew guy at Riverside when he raced, okay? So, we got to come to Southern California, Riverside was my, I always stayed in Riverside when I came out here. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, look, I didn't sign it, probably you did. Uh, Program. Yeah, so uh, anyway, always love coming out to Southern California. Uh, a friend of mine that used to work for the United Healthcare Cycle team, I go right back to him. So always had a great time and always what impressed me the most was uh, the first time we came here, the track itself. Come walking into the new facility on that Thursday or Friday, we had free practice, Thursday for practice. And I was thinking, oh God, we're going to walk in this place and this guy's going to stop me and go, okay, who are you? But everybody here was like, hey, Mr. Lamani or hey, Bobby, how are you doing? And I was like, Wow, I didn't even have to have a credential because I can come in the garage area without them knowing because somebody really paid attention, you know what I mean? So, and then when we came out here for the very first time, uh, it was a great, it's a great facility, but it was great to see all the fans come out here and the support. So that was the first thing I wanted to say was thank y'all for that. And I remember a couple things that's kind of funny is I ran an IROC race here one time and Mark, uh, Robbie Gordon crashed and he had a head injury. He just had a headache and he couldn't drive the next day, so they had me drive it. So it was cool to do that. And I got to practice after the garage closed, and I'm like, I don't know that this has ever happened in many years. So, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, the the Iron Series at the time? We got Jay. No, not Jay. Uh, he just passed a couple years ago. Come on, let's rip it. Let's rip it, yeah, let's rip it. So he said, yeah, he said, you practice this car after everybody leaves the garage. I'm like, this is the coolest thing that they'll let you do, right? So I got to do, to do that here. And then one time I was on my way to victory in a push car national race, and my crew chief didn't, I didn't pit, but he said, don't pit. I said, okay, uh, don't we need gas? We're gonna make it all the way. I'm coming down pit, I'm going on the racetrack, and I'm looking down pit road, everybody's pitting at me, and I'm like, we're not gonna make it. 17 laps short, or it's like 12 laps short, something like that, some crazy amount. So I coasted in, I, I'll never forget this, I coasted in, my wife's at home watching on TV. Coasted in. Stop his pit. My dad's like, hey, come on, stop here. I said, no, I'm good. So I went over to the gas pumps. They come over to the interview and they said, what happened? I said, run out of gas. And um, anyway, I was dressed and driving out the tunnel when Todd would on one. And I'm like, I was going to win. Well, no, I really, I mean, I, we could have pitted probably still won. But it was like, what a, what a, that, that's a bad thing to remember this track for. But anyway, <laughs> y'all were there that day, so thank y'all. Just in case y'all didn't know what happened, that's what happened. Let's set that straight. That guy was your engineer for a while too, right? You kind of remember that guy, yeah? 